we got it. Big battery, solar roller, red foo, zombie builds. Let's go. Check this out, man. Check these out, man. These are, I think these might be out of the, like the Triassic period, right? These are old Outback Radiant inverters. Interesting, everything external and, you know. <coughs> Whoa, easy killer. I know, it's pretty nasty in here, huh? I think we've got maybe something living actually down under here. I don't know. I hate to uproot any little feller, but you know, we do have to get at some of this stuff. These batteries are out of a Navistar E Star, about 30 kilowatts of battery here, but I doubt that they're really much going on with them anymore couple of Outback Radians, the old mate relics. Yeah, I'm cracking covers so I can get wires on stuff, but it's always really smart to whip out the voltmeter, you know, and make sure there's no power um, where you're working so you don't die. You know, this here golf cart has never been charged by anything other than the sun. And it's been going for, shoot, at least three or four years when I came down to see Red Food last time. So pretty amazing. Just get it and go. That's the idea of Solar Roma. Just get in it and go. Let's go get some tools. I must say, what's coming to mind are all the people that I built off-grid systems for over the years. People who couldn't afford, you know, to have the power come in, trying to save some money, struggling with the lead acid batteries, having them die after two years. You know, this at one point was a big deal to go to the lithium batteries and lasted longer, but then the BMSs were kind of marginal and external and challenging systems that aren't nearly as cool as what we're gonna be putting in today. The new stuff is just far more integrated, far less maintenance, easier to understand, readouts on your phone. I just wanna encourage people to understand that going off grid these days is so seamless. It's not what it used to be. It's not the, the challenge that it used to be. It's as you're going to see, plug and play. Back in the day when I was building a solar powered vehicle for and with um, Sun Ray Kelly, um, we had to get some leaf batteries and I scoured the internet looking for Nissan leaf batteries and found a company called Big Battery and we got them and they were great and it was like really nice to know that there was, you know, someone that was, you know, putting out great deals on these batteries. And then when uh, Redfoo and I decided to go with this system, we went to the company to pick it up and I was amazed. This company has gone from moving used batteries to buying out Outback Power, which was uh, a favorite company of mine for inverters and charge controllers. They've really grown and it's, it's, it's really clear why it's a good company. I actually spoke quite at length with the CTO of where they're coming from and the batteries that they're using. So they're using lithium iron phosphate batteries. They don't have the thermal runaway issues that the other type of lithium ion batteries do. They are a little greener, they don't contain the cobalt. Also they have a little longer life. So the industry is leaning towards these certain style of lithium batteries which are really nice and really easy to work with. Let's get into the unboxing. Okay, we have our connection wires on the top. We toss them over with our other wires. And here is our first battery. Look at that stuff. It's gorgeous. All right, so there's the battery, five kilowatts of lithium iron phosphates, and they are stackable. So on the floor are four rubber bumpers that it stands on. And then that right there is the position for the next one. Okay, we have four batteries, each five kilowatts each for a total of 20 kilowatt hours. We got a little battery header there. And next we're gonna grab the inverter out of the box, see what that looks like. 
So here's our mountain piece. Ready? Here we go. There she blows. One big inverter. So that's 12 kilowatts. Normally for 12 kilowatts, back in the old days, we'd have to stack up inverters, right? Nice to see everything in the same package also. The charge controllers are also in there. So the solar panels literally can go right in there. There's three different inputs for three different separate arrays. So super nice, super inclusive. This is kind of the, the main thing I'm trying to get across is how integrated everything is so that you don't have to be running wires from this one to that one. And if you remember um, the stuff that we just pulled out of there, um, you'll see the difference. That's why they call it big battery. That's a big battery, huh guys?